My name is Tyler Morley, and this is my third presentation for Corporate Strategy Online. Today, I'll be discussing Cisco and how they're able to be a successful company slowly from purchasing other small companies. Cisco is a worldwide leader in networking with control of 80% of the internet traffic. They own systems, support, manages, and operate businesses for various companies worldwide. Cisco started in 1984 by Leonard Bozak, who was studying at Stanford University, and has now built this company into a multi-billion dollar company. In the mid-2000s, Cisco became one of the most valuable companies in the world as a leader of internet and bandwidth control of the whole technology sector. Cisco believed in innovation by purchasing small firms instead of spending money on research and development from scratch. And this has helped Cisco keep their competitive advantage in the technology world. Cisco has always been on top of the newly latest technologies and becoming ownership of top of the line products. Cisco purchases companies called platforms. Within the first two months of the purchases, Cisco controls the employees, bosses, creates bonus plans, and also has to deal with the new healthcare plans in order to incorporate this under Cisco rules. As of late, each year, Cisco on average buys 10 companies or more. For most of them, they're roughly small deals, but they will go out and spend billions of dollars to purchase a company. In 2013, for instance, Cisco purchased a company called Sourcefire for $2.7 billion. This is a security company, alone. The recent years, from this past year, I looked up two companies as of their recent purchases. One was called MetaCloud. They develop and operate private clouds for global organizations with a unique OpenStack a service model. The second company is called Piston Cloud Computing. It provides a software that enables streamlined operation development of large-scale distributed systems. What does that tell you? The last two companies Cisco has purchased are cloud computing, and it shows that today, in today's business world, cloud computing and cloud storages are the new way of working towards the technology sector. Cisco was already on top of that. What I found interesting was, C was Cisco CEO John Chambers believes in five, five things when he becomes purchasing a company. Share a vision. Believe in Cisco and make the right adjustments in order to grow Cisco. When they are purchasing a company, they want to make sure that company is sharing the same vision as Cisco to be the top technology company in the world. Two, corporate cultures have to match. He looks healthy to make sure that the company is healthy, motivated, and have the ability to produce products the way to meet Cisco's demands. Three, know what you're really buying, the people, and the tech. Steve Strong, Chambers strongly believe that what you're acquiring is what you're going to represent, and is it worth it? He had needed to understand the people in the company and that those people are going to be willing to work with Cisco because Cisco has the money to fund those new products. Four, Acquisitions should be strategic. He is, Chambers is looking for a minimum 40% purchase of market share in those companies. 40%, so he's looking minimum. So he's looking to purchase at least half the company in my eyes. He wants to make sure there's sustainable differentiation, and like I said earlier, they have the ability to work under Cisco's demands. Five, closer to the location to Cisco, the more successful the acquisition would be. Geographic is huge for Cisco. Because what I'll go over later is how they send their managers into those newly purchased companies. So how Cisco ties into the five reasons for acquisitions. One, it reduces costs. The ability to combine two forms of R&D skills for one reason is a horizontal acquisition, as the definition of the textbook says. I think Cisco did an excellent job with horizontal acquisition, which is purchases a competitor in a competing market. Cisco had so much money that they had the ability to purchase these small tech companies that had the newly latest te technologies up and coming in the market. This has allowed them to grow and keep their competitive advantage over the other major tech companies. Two, gain market power. On average, like I said, Cisco purchases 10 companies a year. Instead of focusing their money on research and development budgets, the company goes out and purchases companies that already have products that are almost out on the line. This ability ties into their growth of their company in order to expand and grow even bigger. Two out of every three company, or two out of three companies purchased, become profitable. Three, increase growth. 
Cisco increases their growth by spending billions of dollars each year by purchasing companies, small companies in the industry. This is how they've grown today to be a $144 billion company. The only red flag that I have for this company is how much money they continue to spend each year to purchase these small companies and how many small companies they already own. If Cisco is this big and this dominant, they can cut back costs by actually using their research and development to create products, to create opportunity, to further advance their, their company. They already have these small companies and already these small experts. They can save some money and use that to tie into their company. Like I said before, how two, two out of three companies are successful. So every comp there's one out of three companies that are unsuccessful and unprofitable. They can use that dollar spent by purchasing less companies and focus on their research and development. For the student investment fund, I came down to Cisco or Qualcomm, and I did my presentation on, on Qualcomm because there was too many red flags about Cisco because how much money they spend each year on purchasing companies and they are unsuccessful. Qualcomm spends roughly 30% of their revenue on research and development, so it shows products coming out of Cisco, out of Qualcomm. Sorry. Learn to build capabilities. Cisco does an excellent job of building capabilities into reducing costs of production, gaining market power, and producing growth. Cisco uses their managers to work with these companies that they have recently purchased. Geographic is huge, and this is why Cisco has used Learn to Capabilities to their advantage. Lastly, manage risk and other financial objectives. Like I said, kind of like the, like the bullet above, Cisco uses their managers to overlook the operations of the newly purchased companies. Geographic is huge because the, the travel is close, and also, the managers are familiar with the products that they have recently purchased. Cisco can send out their managers, overlook the operations, make sure they're financed properly, producing properly, and going to meet and, ex and exceed expectations that Cisco recently wants. Thank you for watching and have a good day.